you know, me and buyer's agent, I say, which air school we can use? Because they have a laundry list and none of our air school is qualified. Because there's government assist program. Then they just have to find which air school? I mean, both parties, we all agree. Which air school we can open and which title we can use? Now we have an issue that. No, it's not FHA. It's the, uh, did you ever see the government that says you can get 100% financing? Then they pay for the closing cost? Yeah, and it's 100% financing. <laughs> yeah, it's the first time I tell the buyers, do you know? I said, no. My buyers, you know, found it themselves. So both of us, both agents, we're the first time deal with this lender. <clears throat> so I leave it up to the buyer's agent. You, you'll find an escrow. I'll see if I can, you know, let the seller know. I mean, otherwise, it's very rare. It's okay. I've been in practice about 20 years. It's the first time. Hey, to me, it's fresh. I don't know anything. <clears throat> it's okay. I, I tell the buyer's agent, you know, I'm sorry, you know, the, uh, it's the first time to me. Who's this lender? It's not even responding to the escrow and the, uh, the let it's a national program. So the lender actually is out of state. Yeah. <clears throat> so that, I say, okay. Okay, we're starting, you know, we'll finish up this, you know, F, the other factor in affecting the property. That's, you know, for all the additional. Community enhancement and the private transfer fee. Buyer and seller advise that, that some area or community may have enhancement fee. Use user type fee. Private transfer tax and fee. Over and above a state fee. A federal housing finance agency has issued to rule and prohibit Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac for the purchase loan May by uh, made on the property with the private transfer fee if those fee were established on the after February 8, 2011. See the Title 12 Code of the Federal Regulation Sector 1228 for more information for exception. Private transfer fee may last for a fixed period of time or in uh, <clears throat> perpetuity. Those are, you know, more like the uh, uh, Mellow Roos, different. But private transfer fee actually it could be a donation or something to a private uh say foundation for example it could be like the if you have a community right next to the wildland or the wet habitat area and you want to preserve that uh, the uh, environment the nature well the uh, foundation needs some money, and who's going to donate? Maybe around the uh, housing community, they are donating. And where do they put it? Property tax. Or uh, say, like for example, Mount Sai needs some money. Okay, college. Where's that money coming from? Oh, state. Yeah. Where else? Our property tax <clears throat> around the neighborhood. Like what? Walnut Diamond Bar, <laughs> West Covina. Everybody will chip in a few hundred dollars, right? Every neighborhood, <laughs> every resident. <laughs> Is that considered private transfer? Uh, kind of. <laughs> or like Walnut, they have a lot of uh, park and Greenland area. So all the residents in Walnut, they have more like an HOA, and more like a uh, private transfer fee. Put into the property tax. Each neighbor paid about $500, okay? To maintain, okay? The, uh, uh, the city, so look good. So do Chino Hills. So those are, you can consider more like a city tax and extra fee. Not exactly regular regular fee like school, fire department, or police, it's different. Those are, you can say like the extra fee and a, those, those are similar extra costs for the homeowner, for the private transfer. <clears throat> so those are, you know, for the, uh, so that's why they're transferring tax, everything on the private transferring tax and fee. When you selling the property, you also transfer those uh, <clears throat> donation or whoever, because they need to know who is actually pay, who is not, right? Just like HOA. Oh, you didn't pay. Okay. <laughs> and what's the consequence? I can foreclose your property. 
Do you know HOA can foreclose a property? Not powerful. If you don't pay HOA fee, you just watch. I saw a unit in Brea and wait a minute. Well, how come the owner is HOA? <laughs> right? And they're renting it. I don't understand, I say. This is an old community, it's not like a new community. And the, the, that particular unit, the ownership is HOA. Later on, look at the track history, it got foreclosed. Yeah, by HOA. Because they didn't pay the HOA fee or the violation, the citation did not pay. And the HOA has a, the, the power, okay, you know, through a court to foreclose a property. <clears throat> because that's a typical Asian, hey, I, that's not my issue. Oh, that's a HOA issue. Yeah, you just watch. <laughs> when you sell the property, either they, they took it out from equity, okay, automatically. Okay, no question asked. Long time ago, I have a property that is for some, for some reason, the owner owed the HOA or maybe whatever the issue, about $15,000. That's 15 years ago. Come on, that, the unit is only 200 something, a townhouse, not even $300,000 in Alhambra. Wait, wait a minute. It's only, you know, back then, not even $200 HOA fee, 150 bucks. And how can you accumulate it for $15,000? It must be something, right? So escrow just slash that, pay the HOA seller. You know, you just got $15,000 less on your equity. Since you didn't get paid, you know, or you didn't pay HOA or didn't follow the rule. <clears throat> okay, number two, are typically calculated at a percentage of a sales price. And three, may have a private party's charitable organization, like some of a foundation, interest-based group, and are stay recipient who may use the fund for social issue unrelated to the property. Uh, broker do not have expertise in this area. Number two, general recall and defect product, uh, product and class action information. Buyer seller advise that the government entity and manufacturing may have any time issue recall notice and or warning about the product they may have present in the property and that this notice of warning can change. <clears throat> the following non-exclusive, non-exhensive uh, be pre uh, listed contain exam for the recall defect product class action information. Horizontal furnace, whirlpool microwave, hood combination, Archon building, recon building products, roof tiles, central sprinkler, company fire sprinkler, uh, rubber shawl, water heater, gas control valve, trans stacking, water heating, aluminum wiring. That's your electrical, that's the old one. That you hardly you can see it unless it's a really old house. Um, galvanize, that's a, uh, the piping. Most of the newer houses are uh, plumbing or PU piping. I mean, not uh, copper piping or PU. <clears throat> Galvanize, those are the old one. ABS, ABS, those are the, the drainage, okay, pipe. Uh, polybutylene, PEX, uh, King Tax, copper pipe, drywall manufacturing in China. Why? Because, you know, it could be have some toxic stuff, you know. <laughs> Glue, remember, you know what we uh, mentioned that? Uh, <clears throat> for the uh, uh, odor, you know, or the, uh, uh, that's the gas, you know, for the, uh, uh, what's that gas? Uh, radar, okay? Some of the, you know, sometimes they smell and when they do the manufacturing or even furniture, they didn't wait until dry. Why they have to wait until dry? When it's dry, evaporate, and no harm. But when it's wet and you seal it, ship it here, when it's the manufacturer, when, when they do it open, ugh, the whole house, it smell. You think it's a fresh fresh smell? Just like when you see the brand new car? Oh, that's a fresh new car smell. No, that's a glue. <laughs> it's harmful, okay? I'll tell you the truth. <laughs> that's not new car smell. <laughs> because the car also have a glue, you know, some of the carpet and some of the plastic, some of the stuff, okay? Those are it's harmful smell. So usually when it's like new car, when it's like under the sun, it heat up, 
open the window first. You don't want to say, open the door. Oh, new car smell. I don't know how many how much stuff, toxic stuff you smelled it in. <laughs> <clears throat> a lot of people are saying that's a new car smell. Uh -uh. <laughs> I usually I didn't know. You know, after I read about SPSA, same thing. Oh, okay. That's actually, yeah. They have that. There is no single or inclusive source information on product recall, defecting products, and class action. However, the U.S. Consumer Product Safety Commissioner maintained a website that contained the useful information. If the buyer wants further information regarding the item list above, broker recommend that the buyer review the CPSC website. Okay, and the buyer's inspection contingency period. Another source affiliate the CPSC. And the other website and also and allow the buyer to search the product type of a product name buyer may also search using the various search engine on the internet uh, the, uh, for the specific products or the product in question broker recommend that buyer satisfy themselves regarding recall and defecting product broker will not determine if the aspect of the property is subject to the recall or is affecting by the class action lawsuit Broker do not have expertise in this area. Usually, usually, when you do the physical or general inspection, the inspector, they would know. They have the laundry list. For example, electrical panel, do they have ever have a recall? Or what kinds of wiring, what kinds of plumbing? They will probably usually list it. Or any, you know, the harmful issue, okay? So they would know. So if anything on the recall, they, they will list it on the inspection report. But if somebody really annoy, <clears throat> you want to check on it? Yeah, that's a website. You tell the buyer, you check it yourself. You know, because the property you want to buy, you got to make sure what kinds of brand, what pro what product, and what model number, okay? Um, before, you know, you can check on it. So, that means you're going to have to take a lot of pictures. <clears throat> on the, uh, the property you, you purchase, okay? That's why, you know, sometimes if I, if the buyer want to take a lot of photos, are we still asking permission from the seller since we got to have to take the photos? That's a, that's a permission. Technically, if buyer want to take the photos, you should ask the seller for permission to take the photo with their house. Not just take it or video or FaceTime. Okay. So that's why if somebody want to take the photo, sure. I didn't see it. <laughs> my, my issue. <clears throat> yes. That's why, you know, well, could be valid, you know, for the photograph, you know, on the, uh, the uh, permission on that. That's why we sometimes we need the uh, addendum, you know, for that, for the seller. Uh, if you look at the zip phone, I didn't really cover on this, but we do have a form for photograph. Ho uh ho, -huh, uh -huh. yeah. Yeah, that's right. So another thing I'm reminding you, don't ever use other agent's photograph when you're listing, okay? Yeah, otherwise, Kwan would love to, if, you, if you know, somebody using my photo, I'll talk to Kwan, Kwan will, you know, after that agent, boy, James, I'll get you the money, $750 per photo. Why? It's because it's my photo, okay? So don't remember that. Don't copy someone else's description. Don't use someone else's photo. Especially don't copy anything from MLS because all the MLS photos, you have a little logo on the bottom right. It's their products, okay? It's their product, not your product. So don't get lazy <clears throat> because if the MLS found out you're using someone else's photo, Somebody reported, they don't even give a warning. $1,500 citation to you right away. No excuse. If it's your own photo, even if you, have, if you hire a photographer to shoot the photo year, two years ago, don't use it again. Because that photo belonged to who? Photographer. Okay, not you. The photographer emailed it to you doesn't mean it's your photo because you didn't take the photos. Okay, this is a major issue right now. <clears throat> and 
don't using the photos, you know, from anyone is like, uh, especially like website. Oh, this is nice uh, view and this is a nice night view, whatever the, the, the photos, it can have an issue. Okay, on your website too. Customer flyer, <clears throat> it's okay if you give it to the customer. But if you're using the flyer, the photo, someone else's photo, to soliciting, that's an issue. Because when you give it a buyer, you only give one, right? But if you are printed a lot and soliciting, see if like somebody using my flyer without my permission or my photo and just soliciting, oh, this is a you know, house for sale on a neighbor, but it's not his listing. Here's her listing. Is a violation? Yeah. You're using my photo without my permission. Okay. So that's why we all have a small phone. Take some photos. Easy. You can take a beautiful photo if you wish. Okay. So don't get lazy. Oh, I don't know how to take a, a, a photo. So even one or two, that's fine. Don't use someone else. I know you may not take the, the, a good photo. Well, you, you can learn, you know, this is actually the smartphone. They can take beautiful photos now. So I, I, I take a lot of photos. I usually, I got the uh, expensive camera, but when I just don't have it with me, what do I do? Eh, use this. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. Homeowner association, covenant, condition and restriction and uh, charging station. Oh yeah, some of HOA do have a charging station now. Okay, yeah. <laughs> I saw some of a, a community, they do have a charging parking. Hmm? Yes, the newer one. Uh, some of a unit, they even have a charging uh, outlet in each garage. I saw that, yeah. <clears throat> or if they don't have it, but they can convert it because it's there. So all you need to do, just have to convert the outlet. Oh. <clears throat> FHAVA approval. Another thing why the FHAVA approval is important for the homeowner association, HOA, because if the code community is not approved by FHA or VA, don't bother to show the client. Don't bother to show you. Because it's not qualified. Most likely people want to do the FHA or VA loan. It's financing buyer. When a finance buyer, you show them the community, oh, they love it. I always submit the offer, blah, blah, blah. I mean, they later found out it's not FHOA qualified. You're just wasting all your time. It, the bank will not finance the community, the whole community, not particularly that unit. So the if it, HOA, they have to apply to FHA department to be qualified. It's not like automatically FHA qualified. No, homeowner association need to go on the FHA department to qualify that community. Single family, you don't have to worry about it because as long as you don't have a HOA. <clears throat> if, the, if the community, for example, like Irvine, you do have like the uh, private lake, those are the homeowner associates different than what we talk about in this, you know, because those are just because you're using the community pool. Those are HOAs different. You still, you know, handle yourself own house. But what I'm saying is that PUD, townhouse, condo, uh, you, you better found, or when you, uh, if you're not so sure, if <clears throat> put it this way, <clears throat> if you got a VA or FHA uh, buyer, before you show that property, call listing agent. But believe me, probably more than half a listing agent didn't know. Then what do, you, what do you call? You gotta call HOA directly. May I have a HOA phone number? Usually on my listing, I will put the HOA phone number on my listing. I'll find out yourself. I put it because before I put on the listing, I will ask the, the statement, everything, who's going to be the, your HOA, what's the phone number. So if any buyer has a question regarding HOA or CCNR issue, call HOA directly to satisfy yourself. Not, not listing agent's job to find out for you. Listing agent's job is not volunteer, right? Who is due diligence? Buyers. And buyer's agent due diligence, not listing agent or seller. But at least I provide a phone number for you. Who is the uh, management company? You call them and find out. <clears throat> a lot of things you don't want to assume. Just like how many HOA, you know, they cover for termite. Well, that's usually they cover a termite. Usually, not always. 
Well, that's what's that supposed to mean? Some of them, they, not, they don't cover termite. Even townhouse area, I can tell you that the one on the Roland High, on the Greenport, Greencastle community, they don't cover termite. So they'll have to pay for it when they do the transaction, okay? So don't assume, don't tell seller, oh yeah, don't worry, each other will cover, okay. If you tell seller that seller said, like, oh, okay, so they didn't keep the budget, they didn't never thought about it, they have to pay for the buyers. Then who's gonna pay for the buyer? Because you get the wrong information. So if you something you don't know, call, okay? Don't be afraid to call for help. So you call HOA or anything, if you're not sure, you call city, you call county, you know, to verify. Buyer and seller are advised that the uh, property is condominium and located in a planned unit development in a common interest subdivision. They are typically restriction and use of a property and rules that must be followed. Restriction rule are commonly found in uh, declaration and other government document. Further, there is likely to be homeowner association that has authority to affect the property and its use. Whether or not where the uh, HOA, the property may still be subject to CCNR. A restriction used by the property. The HOA typically has the authority to enforce the rule of the association assessment, monetary payment, both regular monthly due and special assessment to provide a upkeep and maintenance in common area. Enforce the rule and the, uh, assessment obligation. If you fail to abide it, abide it by, uh, by the rule and pay uh, <clears throat> monies, O to the HOA, HOA put a lien against the property. HOA has a rule to pay to put the lien. Additionally, if an electronic vehicle charging station is installed in the common area and exclusive use the common area, each seller whose parking space is on or near that charging station must be disclosed its existence and that the buyer will have the responsibility set forth in California Civil Code 4745. Why? Because sometimes you more like that car is usually parked on outside your unit <laughs> because that's a charging station over there. Some of the community have that. Okay. Then you have to disclose. Yeah. <clears throat> the law requires the seller provide a buyer with a CCNR and other government document as well as a copy of HOA, current financing statement, uh, operating budget amount that document effected July 1st, 2016. A common interest development. CID will be uh, required to include the annual budget report and separate a statement describing the uh, status of a CID as a Federal Housing Administration, FHA, okay, Department of Veteran Affairs, VA, approved development. While the purchase agreement that is a law required that the annual budget and provided the seller to buyer, Broker will not and cannot verify the accuracy of the information provided by CID. Buyer is advised to carefully review the HOA document provided by seller and the CCNR, if any, satisfy him herself regarding the use of a restriction on the property, the amount of a monthly due and or assessment and adequacy of a reverse, a reserve currently and past insurance coverage claims, possibly of any legal action that may be adequacy of a reserve. Currently, the past insurance coverage, oh wait, did I jump the line? Okay, uh, may be taken by the against HOA, litigation of it. HOA may not have insurance and may not cover personal property belong to the owner of the taken, uh, owner unit, uh, owner of the uh, units in the condominium, common interest or the planning unit development. For more information, buyer may require from the broker CAR legal Q&A title, homeowner association, a guide of a realtor. Broker do not have expertise in this area. I'll tell you that the HOA document, when you got a whole book coming in, very few people read it through. Okay, you should, if you possible, unless you already know the community, like, you know, Okay, I know this community, I know that community, I know what's going on. If you are fresh, you know, on the business, you better read, okay? I know hundreds of pages. <laughs> uh, 100, 200, sometimes you get lucky, 50, 
okay? <laughs> but it will definitely help you to understand what the HOA, how they run, because, not sure, do you guys remember what is gonna be affecting financing if the HOA have an issue? First of all, owner, occupy, and rental ratio. Owner and rental occupy ratio. That will affect the finance. If anything more than 50, if the rental more than 50% investment, investment loan will not go through. If any rental more than 70%, we want to talk about whole community. If more than 70%, okay, none of the financing will go through. So that's the all cash deal. Fannie Mae rule, Fannie Mae guideline. Either you follow or else. Yes. The one on the Hacienda Pine. Okay, 70%. That means owner occupy. If anything above 70% are rental, even owner occupy loan will not finance. Over 50% are rental, investment loan cannot finance. Over 70% are rental, owner occupied loan cannot finance. So what the end up with? Cash. You can only do cash transaction. No financing for the condo, for this community. So if you buy something with a smaller community, be careful. When you only got say, you know, some of a uh, area in the Asian community, maybe less than 10 units, easily over 50% <laughs> are rental, right? If it's only, oh, they only got eight units. If a four units are rental, it's over 50. You, I cannot get investment loan. If they, you know, if the, uh, if, if most of our rental, it's have to be cash transaction. And can you control it? You can't. Sometimes, if some of HOA may control it, they, they, it's not happened in the Asian community. <laughs> I want to tell you that. Asian community, because the president, they're all Asian. They don't care much. But it's, if Caucasian community, they will limit it, the uh, rental ratio. How many are investors? They just they will limit it to the seller. You cannot sell it to somebody. It's not owner-occupied. Yes, some right? OK. Even some country, yeah, that's right. So some of community like that. What I can tell you, okay, <clears throat> the one on the Hacienda High, the Hacienda Pie, okay, right next to the 168, the uh, uh, supermarket, they are about 80% are renter. So whatever you see the listing over there, it's not going to finance. Not even consider FHA, FIA, uh -uh, no way. Cash only. Doesn't matter, owner occupy or investment. You, you won't, unless you, if you can, unless you want to find it yourself, you know, the hard money or anything. But I mean, in general, you cannot get financing. So if I see anybody want to finance, when I have a listing over there, when I see somebody, you know, with the uh, finance, I say, please call the H, uh, please let your lender know. This is a community. Have them your lender to verify. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Not all the listing agents know. Well, mm -hmm. so that's why when we deal with the out of our area community, we don't know. So how do you know? Every time you gotta call HOA first, uh, every showing. It's a very, I know, but, but on the other hand, you're wasting a lot of time, you know, to the buyer's agent. Especially some of Asians, our loyalty is really low. They may find you, they may find you, they may find you to show the same property. This could be submit offer. Yeah. 
They're only buying something like $300,000. They think they are hot shot. This finding that all three agents submit the same property offers. The listing agent said, wait a minute, what are you guys doing? Do you think that's a listing agent will accept the offer? I don't think so. If I am, this buyer is lunatic, idiot. You find three, because the three agent doesn't know. They submit the offer. The other two, they also submit. Only listing agent, wait a minute. So being a listing agent, you gotta have to be careful. Say, is it the same buyer? You can get any agent. No. Some of them, that's an Asian way. That's an Asian way. Well, you sign a contract, only say agency disclosure. You didn't sign the buyer's agreement. Ah, oh, ain't got no loyalty. That's why it's tough, our career. If you have those fire, you know what I'm saying? You're fired. You're not qualified to be my client. I don't want to waste any more time with you. But some agent will be so pathetic. Oh, continue. Because they don't have other buyer. They don't have other lease. They just, you know, continue with that, you know, the buyer. And they don't even guarantee they will buy from this particular agent. Yeah. So the one thing, okay, that's a rental out on occupy ratio. Where's the other four? They showed on the bottom. Litigation, HOA litigation it will affect the uh, issue. Last time, you know, I have one litigation, underwriter just would not finance. That's it. Kill the deal. Just kill the deal. All right. Litigation. What else? On the bottom. Insurance. Your master insurance not enough coverage. Bank will not finance either. What else? Reserve. If the HOA doesn't have enough reserve, bank will not finance either. Well, usually, what kinds of reserve? Looking at the total reserve, you gotta have about ten percent of a total collection. You know, the annual uh, due, you gotta have a ten percent of reserve. You gotta spend all the money. Another thing is that doesn't really show here is delinquency for the uh, unit. How many percent of delinquency? I mean, how many units did I pay HOA fee? <laughs> okay, five issue were affecting the finance. So that's you know when you deal with the uh, townhouse HOA, those you know those sort of five issue you're looking at. Owner, uh, owner rental occupy ratio, master insurance coverage, HOA litigation, and also reserve, HOA reserve. The last thing, you'll be looking at delinquency. Delinquency unit, well, you, well, you can say, well, units delinquency. Yeah. And if you own, if you're somebody, you know, especially those are smaller community that they manage by your homeowner, and they, need me, uh, they elect the president within the community. Those are, it's tough, usually. Unless they all follow the guideline. Otherwise, the whole community is hard to finance. That's why some of the uh, um, Chinese community, some of only few units, six units, eight units, or 10 units, and they don't have enough money to hire a professional management company, but because everybody will save some money, especially when you see the HOA. Anything under 200 or, okay, put it this way. You see the HOA $150, don't get excited. 
First of all, they may not get financing in the community. Second of all, if they can really, really, you get lucky, can get financing. You tell the buyer, don't get excited because anything wrong with the house, painting, roofing, you gotta have to pay extra. Everybody have to chip in because they don't have enough reserve. They may fit in the guideline for 10% guideline, but they just don't have enough money to replace all the roofing, whole painting for the community, just don't have it. So everybody has to pay extra for that. So you better disclose a lot of issue. Some of them, for example, did you know the one on the Chino Hill right across the uh, street on the uh, Costco, the condo, townhouse, the community on the Chino Hills? You, they have a landslide issue because of soil problem. HOA have to spend tons of money to uh, 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 fix that. So that's why their current HOA is 450 bucks per month. Are you gonna disclose that? Yeah, HOA, they will. But if you, the buyer did not read it, we know that issue because we, we are the, you know, the business long enough. So for example, if you don't know, and then you don't know where to ask because that's a previous history, insurance claim before the whole community. Because the landslide issue is some of the, uh, the, the unit along with the uh, uh, patent, they're lean out, outward. <laughs> Not that level because of foundation, okay? So the whole community may have a soil issue. So when you deal with those unit, I want this close. SPQ, okay, AVID, and so do the HOA document, okay? Legal action. Any more issue on the HOA? Because those are pretty, you know, nasty when you deal with the HOA. I'm trying to drive you crazy. And what I end up with kill the deal. Yeah. Especially government assist loan. They are very strict on the HOA. They tell you, yeah, you can buy it, but they are really strict. But those people, they cannot buy the house because they are limited on the budget. And so do your government assist loan. You are limited on the purchase price. It, most likely you can only buy a townhouse or condo. 500,000, 400,000. For the buyers and seller, or advise that if the seller or the previous owner was involved in a legal action, litigation or arbitration, affecting the property. That's why we rather issue, resolve the issue in mediation. Why? Litigation, that's it, so they go through the court. It has a record. So do the arbitration. Even I know the real estate, usually the arbitration doesn't have a record. But I would disclose if the arbitration issue. Mediation, nah. Buyer should obtain the review of the public or other available records regarding the legal action to determine because they will put on the title uh, if it's a litigation. Whether the legal action and any resolving the affecting the buyers and the property, if any right against any part parties involved in the legal action survive the legal action to have been terminated and waived as a result of a legal action, whether or not involve the same issue as a legal action. And three, if any recommendation or requirement resulting from the legal action have been fulfilled, and if so, that buyers are satisfied with any such action, buyers should seek legal advice regarding this matter. Broker do not have expertise in this area. So if any legal action, you ask a listing agent or ask a seller, uh, sometimes you may find out through the uh, title report.
Marketing internet advertisement, internet blog, social media, buyer and seller advice that broker may employ the staging company to assist the uh, presentation of a property. The furniture and the declaration in the staging are generally not included in the sales unless specified note in this agreement. Just in case, you know, the uh, listing agent forgot to put on the listing and say, oh, okay, uh, the staging furniture is not included. Here's the tell you, in general, they're not included as renting staging furniture. Statement and inclusion in the MLS entry, flyers and other marketing material are not part of the agreement. In addition, broker may employ a service of provider, virtual tool and virtual staging. Internet marketing of the property permitted a potential buyer to view the property over the internet while they are supposed to be a accurate uh, representation of the property. The photos may be enhanced and not fully representative of the actual condition of the property. Further, neither the service providers nor broker have total control over who will obtain the access to material placed on the internet and what actions such persons might take. So, I mean, the photos, you, when, you, when you upload it, you cannot control it. So that's why when we put on a listing agreement, we always you know, tell the uh, uh, seller, say, on the, on the agreement, whatever the, you know, what we uploaded, then it's be, belong to MLS property, belong to Zillow property, belong to Trulia, wherever the property is, we cannot control it. Once they close the escrow, you want to have them remove it, you got to, you know, we can then on the MLS, if you really want me to remove it, you better let me know before I, you know, change the status. Once I change the status sold, I cannot do anything. You have to call the MLS directly. And you have to call and Zillow or Trulia. You just have to call them directly. I have no control with them because their property. Even I took the photo, but you authorize me to upload it and become others' property. Not mine anymore. Okay? Become public. So some internet site, other social media provide a format of a comment of opinion of value of the property they are for sale. Some of our owner doesn't like that. That's the name. The estimate, they just don't like it. Sometimes too low, sometimes too high. Okay. <laughs> or they don't even allow the, the, uh, the viewer put in a comment. It's my house. Okay. Well, they, 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 you can do that. I, you know, we can control it. You know, when we put on the MLS. Okay. Um, information and the property and owner's neighborhood, any homeowner association having governed over the property may have found the internet, individual and commercial website, blog, Facebook page, and other social media. Any such information may be accurate, uh, speculate, uh, truthful, uh, or uh, lies and it may or may not reflect the opinion of representation by the broker. Broker will not investigate any such sites, blogs, social media, other internet sites, or the representation of a contained there, uh, therein. Buyers is advised to make an independent search of the electronic media and online source prior to removing any investigation contingency. Buyer seller are advised that broker has no control over long how long the information or photo concerning the property will be available on the internet or through social media. Broker will not be responsible for removing any such content from the internet or MLS. Broker do not have expertise in this area. We are not responsible for removing the contents. So if the, uh, uh, the homeowner, new owner, they want, to, uh, want us to remove it, I can't. You gotta have to call yourself. I don't understand English. Fine, find your friend, whoever speak English. I say, you, can you do it? No, I'm your agent. I'm not your home. I'm not the homeowner. This is not my house. If it's my home, yes, I will. But it's not my home. It's your home. But can you help me? Well, it's up to you. If you really want to help, they better sit right next to you because most likely they have to talk to a homeowner. That's a hassle. So usually you tell, you tell their kids to do it. <laughs> <clears throat> uh, 
Pace Long and Lean. Those are the uh, uh, energy saving loan. Actually, you can say it's a loan, uh, but they put into the property tax. So you pay them semi-annually instead of monthly. A Coronium pays standard property assess clean energy. Pays uh, program allow <clears throat> a property owner to finance energy and water conservation improvement and pay them through the assessment on the owner property. Let me look at this for a moment. Does it want to call me yesterday, today? Also, James? Hey, 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 David, how are you doing? All right, yes.
So the PACE program available to the most area for the both residents, one or four units property. And commercial property PACE program may be referred to by a different name of the hero and sept. Uh, among other, if the PACE project is approved, an assessment lien is, paid, is placed on the property for the amount owed plus interest. A property owner repay the entity for the improvement as a special tax assessment on the property tax bill over the period of years. So they put the loan actually into the property tax, collect it as a special assessment. And that's including the interest as well. And a pay sling is similar to a property tax link in that it is a super priority, okay, sales or obligated to disclose uh, pursuing to the CAR residence purchase agreement, CAR form, RPA. Were there any improvement in subject to a lien as a PACE loan, a PACE lien? Property that are subject to a PACE lien may on or after July 6, 2010 may not eligible for the financing. For more information, buyer may request it from broker the car legal q a pace program and so solar lease broker do not have expertise in this area so if you deal with those property have the hero program or the pace program usually the listing agent will list it so whatever the the property is showing remember have to read the agent remark well the a lot of agent they are so lazy to read they don't read description. They don't read agent remark. Sometimes they don't even read the showing instruction. So, I don't know why they are in this field. <laughs> they think easy to make money, that's okay. Don't, that's why I'm always telling you, don't try the real estate. Real estate will try you out, okay? You know our, our surviving rate, first three years, 15 to 10, 10 to 15, 10 to 15, oh, 5 percent, man, I'm qualified. <laughs> I'm survived, okay? <laughs> you you want to push the top five? Yes. You want to do the top 10? Yeah. If, if you can make 100 grand a year, you're on the top, you're the top 20. Okay? It is, though. That's a national statistic. If you make $100,000 a year, you're in the top 20 agent already because we got about 1 million, a little bit over 1 million realtors nationwide. 80% of the, uh, uh, the business is doing by the top 20%. 80%. 
major. And the other 20% of business are doing by the other 80% agent. And you know what? 50% of agent, their annual income less than $20,000. 50% less than $20,000. That's even maybe less than regular job salary. And that's not even included what you pay the HOA. I mean, no, what would you pay the board? You pay the company? You told, you, we talk about gross commission. Okay, what do you got left? Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. You become a poor man. Yeah, you, uh, can you get a social security? <laughs> yeah, yeah, uh-huh, uh-huh, yeah. So. So that's why you know this um, youth. When I when I in when I'm in this this career, the surviving rate is thirty percent higher. No, and it's not less people. You still got to about as many as people you know like I do. Okay, at, at this moment, if you look at a license number, okay, um, what I can tell you, I'm starting with zero one three. Okay, and the license number. Did you see how many people they vanish? If you look at the license, 015, 016, 017. If you look at the every listing, you know, on the market right now, hardly, hardly you see anybody, any license number started with 015, 016, 017. Why? Huh? Because they are gone. They are no longer in business. Why? Because they got their license at the late year 2003, 4, 5. They're out. Why? Because the, uh, uh, the financial crisis starting in 2007, they cannot survive. Okay. So that's that's the, you know the uh, uh, then you will start seeing a two uh, zero one a where's that starting from two thousand eight hmm? me I started at the year two thousand so I got starting with the uh, uh, two thousand and I starting with two thousand and two so the uh, uh, so starting with zero one three. If I see somebody with a zero zero two, oh man, I'm salute. They are eighty years old agent. Okay, yeah. <laughs> you look at a license number. You know how how long they're in the business. Well, certainly some of the people they they get a license and never practice. Fifty percent of a licensee never practice. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, yes. They have to take it again and, and again and again. <laughs> Every four years. The uh, uh, DRE, they are thinking about it. We should renew the license every two years. Oh no, they would try to eliminate those people. Just like, you know, uh, you guys probably knew you didn't really have to take the code of ethic. Remember last, uh, last year? We have to take the extra training for code of ethic if your license uh, haven't renewed within you know past two years. You have to retake a code of ethic. If you don't, you cannot access the MLS. Yeah. yeah, you can do the C anyway, but which company you are with? Okay. No brokerage, no business. Unless you want to open your own brokerage, I don't think so. <laughs> you pay nothing. I mean, because you have to maintain the license, cost you the fee. When you, may, when you do the brokerage, 
well, you're going to have to join the board, this and that, all the fees, you know, DRE, even more, and insurance. And the ENO insurance premium you need to pay, right? Okay. So I don't think any licensee, even broker's licensee, they will maintain the brokerage license. And with another, you know, real estate company. Usually this is, they just, you know, some of a real estate company, they charge you a little, little fee, okay? Uh, so they, they can claim, we got thousands of agents. Yeah, thousands of non-practice, non-active agents. <laughs> so what? Do we have those? Yes, very close by in Roland High and Colima, okay? One of them. If you deal with those agents, it will drive you crazy. They don't know how to write properly, filled in a purchase agreement. They don't even know what's going on in the form. And a lot of them, they don't speak English either. Oh, no. Yeah. I don't want to name on the company, but you'll find out right on Colima. Okay. <laughs> they are, you know, very close by the one that closed down, the Michelson, you know, the one on the floor, you know, that, that plaza. You know, whatever the real cheap is, okay? They claim they have over 1,000 agents. They all retire, all non active. Yeah, they have no support whatsoever. And one receptionist in the front. They do everything. They can be your TC, they can be a receptionist, they can be a, a you know, a anybody, okay? All locks should be, okay, rekey. All locks should be rekeyed immediately upon close of escrow, so as to ensure the buyer safety and security of their persons as well as their person belonging. Alarm, if any, should be serviced by the professional and coat should be changed. Garage door opener remote should be recoded in the event of other uh, and the lease uh, back to the uh, seller after the close of escrow. Seller is advised that the buyer is entitled uh, to the key as the owner of the property, even though the seller stay in possession of the property as provided in RPA. Okay. Seller is advised that the buyer is entitled to the keys as the owner of the property, even though the seller stay in possession. A lot of people doesn't know. When the close of escrow, can buy obtain the key legally? Okay. A lot of sellers. No, 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 no. We still stay inside. We ran back. But you gotta have a mutual agreement. I'll tell you that if you if the seller keep the key. Otherwise, see here. In the event of a lease back to seller, lease back to the seller. After close of escrow, seller is advised that the buyer is entitled to the keys as the owner on the property, even though the seller stay in the possession of the property as an RPA. In. Okay. A lot of people ask me a question. I say, read it. Well, I know they never read. <laughs> Okay, so the uh, uh, basically, you know, what do you looking at the uh, uh, even lease back buyer can entitle for the key? At least you ask for one set from seller. So oh no, I say well, then why you lease back? Oh, which part? You say I have to give the key right here. Who signed it? You, Look, seller. Right? When the disclosure, you sell it, you sign it. That means you agree. <clears throat> oh, my, my agent never tell me. That's your problem, listing agent. <laughs> so I would say you better highlight it on this, okay? It will help you, okay? It will cause less argument. If the, uh, I know some people may have the issue on that. Number eight, solar panel lease. Solar panel or the power system may be owned or leased, although the lease system are proper 
uh, probably personal property they are including in the sales of a CAR. Purchase agreement, which also obligated the seller to may have to may uh, disclose to a buyer and provide a buyer with the uh, documents concerning the lease and system. Lease company generally secure payment by filing the UCC one. Uniform Commercial Code would have given the notice of the uh, creditor security interest against the property. So that means when you attach with the solar panel, it's not possibly it's it, it's more like a fixture. But it's but you still need to pay the payment if it's a lease. Okay. And the buyer given a contingency right to investigate a solar related system of documentation, assume any lease. Assumption of a lease may be required a buyer to provide a financial information lease company who may require a credit report uh, be obtained on the buyer should a solar panel or should a solar panel or the power system be on the property. Buyer should determine if the system is leased or owned. Buyer willingness to assume any such lease is a contingency in favor of sales, seller. For more information, buyer may request it from the broker to the CAR legal Q&A. Page program and solar lease. Broker do not have expertise in this area. Some of a uh, property with the solar panel, at this moment, I don't know in the future, at this moment, it may be, it's not a plus. Usually it's a negative. Okay. Uh, buyer doesn't need it, solar panel, then what do you do? Can you remove it? No. Nope. You tell seller to pay off? No. Nope. Seller will not pay off. And what do you do? And don't buy it. So what I end up with, the house with the solar panel may be harder to sell. Because personally, if I buy any property, I don't want to buy anything with a solar panel. Why? What did I just tell you? I don't use an aircon in the summertime. I don't use a furnace in, at the uh, wintertime. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So. Yeah. 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 You gotta have to assume the system. You gotta assume the system. If you don't like it, too bad. I don't use that much. You know, on my electricity bill, it's less than the uh, the solar panel payment. What should I have to get a solar panel for? Right? I don't use it. Recording device, audio, video, recording device, or both may be present uh, on the property. Whether or not notice of any such device has been posted. Seller may or may not even be aware of the capacity of such device, okay? So those are the, uh, uh, if any, like surveillance camera, CCTV, okay? And those device, you know, you have to be uh, posted, okay? So those are, you know, the, uh, just kind of give the warning for the buyer. Local disclosure advisement, if you have anything extra, you need to disclose, put it right here. Okay, so those are you type it, you know, for the uh, both party. Any question, SBA? Or anything on a disclosure you may have? Because once I finish this, then I'll go ahead, you know, uh, starting with the uh, the lease. Yes, no? Okay, let me go and print out the, uh, all the lease package. The lease, lease, lease. Let me 
see which one I got lately. Lately. <laughs> ah. One, two, three. So let go. Let me see which one I don't need it. Conversely, I don't need it. Well, application one is enough. Okay. How many need a copy? You don't need it, I know. One, two, three, four, five, six. You don't need it, right? You don't need it, okay. So we need five. Five copy, okay. Five copy. Three oh five. Okay. Bless you. a little bit so we can print it uh, five copy we were starting on the uh, this one you probably doesn't need it agency relationship just guys I tell you put it quick here I'm a 305, so we'll wait a little bit, yeah. Take some time to print it.
You get a copy? No? Not yet? I'm still printing? 